Alright, bet. So we got this little red shirt, pretty nice, looking good. Dushy shirt. You got this from Etsy. So what we're gonna do is right click, copy this image. We're gonna put it in our paint on it. We're gonna do Control V, and we're gonna do uh, expand canvas, and then image, crop selection. We're gonna get our one tool. Right click. I mean left click. Sorry. Control X. And we're just gonna like erase these parts right here. We're gonna increase the size of the brush. I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm gonna do it to like, you know, just perfect it. All right, that's the front done. Let's do the back. So let's get our new page. Press this. Okay. Get the back of the shirt, right click, copy the image, and paste it. Same process, one tool, left click, control X, and get rid of that too. Right, so we have both shirts done. What you want to do is open up your template. I'm going to do the two times advanced one. And I'm gonna go here, control A, control C, back to here, I'm gonna move this over here too. New layer, control V, we're just gonna size it. I would say this is good. Do the same thing for the back, control A, control C, new layer, control V, and size this down. Get it to like the same size as this one. There's something similar. Just put it over here. Perfect. Now you want to do is just drag the background all the way up. And there is your shirt. So we're going to go to layer 2. We're going to do the front first. The rectangle select tool. Left click and drag this down. We're going to do effects, selection, content overfill. I'm just gonna play around with this until this is basically like perfect and filled up. All right, so I'll say this is good. Press OK. We're gonna get our clone tool. Uh, increase the brush size to about 60. And let's go like this. So you know, this is left click and control and just, you know, fill it in. So everything looks like seamless. And do the same for this side. All right, that is the front of the shirt done and the back. So what you want to do is grab your select tool, layer three, and just cut these all out. You don't really need it. You don't need it at all, actually and cut so this is your shirt looking great and this is the process complete so what you want to do is open up your regular template size um i'm going to use this one Perfect. Now, personally, I don't do neck holes, so that's not an issue for me. But if you like to do neck holes, if you want a neck hole on your shirt, you just want to get the eraser tool and you just literally put it hardness to 100 and you left click in like the middle, so right about here. That's how you get like the perfect neck hole, but I don't like that, so I'm going to do Ctrl Z and revert it. That is literally your t-shirt complete. What it needs is some assets, so let's get some.
right guys so this is the asset i'm going to be using for the t-shirt to make some like you know texture wrinkles whatever so once you found your you know perfect asset that you like you copy image go back to the template you make a new layer and you press ctrl v what you want to do is press overlay and that is your shirt complete but now we can save this go to file save as i'm going to save this as red shirt and save it as a png click save okay flatten and control z if you want to make some changes um you know hue and saturation you can mess around with it you can well don't do that you know you can change the color do whatever you want to be honest just find what works for you i bet so this is what the shirt is looking like it's nothing crazy it's just a regular plain you know t-shirt but it's just you know a simple tutorial to show you guys that making shirts is way easier than making jeans it's quicker too it's not time consuming So I'm going to give you guys some advice. I made these ASAP Rocky clothes like in June or July or something like that and people still buy it to this day. Just upload something that people want to see that will catch their eye or something like that people will search and that's how you get clothing sales. Like these Junko jeans, um, it's my most sold pair of pants and this red Y2K shirt. Just upload something interesting. I uploaded these on TikTok. TikTok is your best like advertiser, I would say. It helped me get a lot of views and sales and stuff just upload something that will catch people's eyes same with this great junko set i uploaded it to my nine of hearts group i uploaded a tiktok with a matching set for boys and girls so that people you know who want to match they buy it together and that generates more sales also try different styles of clothing like here's my ethereth group it's like um yagu jin or web call whatever you want to call it and yeah it generates a lot of sales so try you know different clothing types and you never know what will blow up and get sales i bet hope you enjoyed the tutorial um a lot of you guys have been sending me your jeans and shirts and what you made it makes me proud that i can like help you out you know what i'm saying it's been fun and yeah good luck to you if you're making a group or you want to make some robux hopefully you make a lot